Hey everybody, I uh, figured while I'm in the garage tidying and what have you, I'd uh, put together a few of my thoughts on our solar experience thus far after going off grid in October. If you've not seen the other videos, if some update videos, I'll put the playlist wherever it goes, you can have a look at those. But the update for January <laughs> Is that it was not much better than December which was not much better than November uh, we managed to get through January with only having to fire up the generator for 25 days out of 31 so not ideal the problem with solar and off-grid is if you are going to go off-grid and rely totally on solar for the winter months or the days where you have no sun for days on end there's no ways you're going to be able to get through without having an alternate form of power unless of course you go and put an extra 30 kilowatts on uh, your roof of solar panels so that in the really dark days you can get a good few kilowatts generated that way you might be able to get through but then what do you do with all that excess energy uh, when the sun's shining extra 30 kilowatt of solar panels going to waste so it just doesn't make sense not economically viable that's my honest truth about it had I known in October what I know now would I have gone off grid no uh, definitely not the cost of running the generator over <laughs> November December January far far exceeds the cost of the energy from the utility company and the convenience and hassle factor it more than makes up for <laughs> not having to worry about a generator uh, with that being said we're off grid now i'm not planning on going back on grid especially with the new price of energy in italy 84 cents a kilowatt hour or something and you've got to sign up for a two-year contract i am doing that now i've had quite a few comments about tilting the panels to get maximum generation out of them which are entirely valid but on a sunny day in winter, with them lying flat on the roof, I get the batteries up to a full charge before the sun goes down. So there's no benefit on a sunny day to tilting them. And if I tilt them when it's not a sunny day, it makes virtually no difference to the generation. So the added hassle of worrying about wind, it's not worth tilting them. So while I was on the roof, I took the opportunity to give the panels a quick scrub Luckily it had rained previously so they weren't too bad. I wanted to just check what a difference it made between semi-dirty panels and clean panels. Turns out cleaning all the panels, all nine strings, only resulted in a net gain of about 250 watts in total. Now obviously we can't carry on off-grid making use of a petrol generator to see us through the dark times. We're going to have to come up with some other innovative ways of countering that problem. Now, a bigger battery bank is obviously the first thing to look at. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. I spent a lot of money on the battery bank and I don't have money to replace it with lithium at this stage. So if anyone out there knows of uh, someone looking for a test bed for new age battery technology, hit me up. <laughs> no, what um, we're gonna look at doing is I've been playing with the idea of a water battery it's been going around in my head for the last couple of years. I want to see what I can do on a small scale and then if it works I'll sort of expand it and make it slightly larger. Plan is to have a pump that will run off solar, excess solar energy, that will then pump water from a tank in the bottom of tier one up to a tank on the roof on the house and then when the sun goes down and we start drawing current from the batteries, it'll open a valve, let the water release down a long pipe back down to tier one, which will then run a small water turbine to put some trickle charge into the batteries. I don't think I'll get up to 500 watts through the night, but if I can get a couple of hundred watts for a few hours through the night, that should alleviate the load on the batteries and allow us to get further through the night without having to worry about charging. That's one of the uh, options. The other option is obviously we're going to get the wind turbine back up. I just need to organize a decent poll etc but I'm going to be reaching out to people in this community and on Reddit 
asking for advice because wind turbines I don't know much about. I know enough about them that they can be bloody dangerous. As you can see, it's currently snowing. We're only generating just over 300 watts while we're drawing just over 1000 watts. So that's not sustainable. We need to make a plan and get this sorted out ASAP. I guess we could also minimize the current draw when it's dark days by changing our habits. Um, instead of using the electric ovens and hobs, we could have a barbecue. But when it's cold in winter, you don't really want to go outside for a barbecue, do you? So we want to try and get a happy balance between being able to live our lives normally without having to compromise too much on dark wintry days. I'm quite interested to see how it turns out and if we can actually do it, to be honest. Um, there's a few nagging doubts that I've got, but the optimist in me says we'll work something out. We found that by making use of the slow cooker, uh, you throw all the ingredients in in the morning and just let it cook slowly through the day, that doesn't hit the batteries nearly as hard as running an oven for half an hour to an hour at night. So that saves us quite a bit as well, particularly on dark days. If you're interested in seeing how we do, give us a like and a subscribe and you can see what we get up to in the future.